What's up guys, my name is Lucas Erickson and it has been so freaking long since I made a video. Yeah, I've just been kind of busy with school. I found some time right now so I thought I might why not make some videos. So, let's get right into it. So today we're going to talk about sky replacements in Final Cut Pro X. So obviously for this you guys are going to need Final Cut Pro X and maybe some stock footage. I will leave some in the description below so you guys can follow along and just do exactly what I'm doing as well. Other than that, let's just get right into the tutorial. Let's go. That was really... That didn't... Okay, so now before we begin, I just want to talk about a bit of the, the kind of stuff you want to be looking for when you're selecting your, your shots for your sky replacement. It is extremely important that the, the sky in your, in your clips is mostly blown out, as you guys can see here. Now, what this means is that you pretty much just have to have your sky overexposed, because it will make this process a lot easier. But yeah, so let's just go into how we can do this. It's also very important that you guys pick a time lapse of a sky or whatever you're replacing your sky with that it matches it. So see, this, th these clouds, I think they kind of match this kind of landscape here. They can't be too small, they can't be too big either. So that's just about right here, I think. So yeah, let's get right into the process and how we can actually make this. And another thing is important that you just quickly just make sure that you've taken out any blue tones out of your image as well, because that is going to confuse the heck out of the Kia. So yeah, I don't recommend you guys do that. So I'm just going to slow this down real quick because it's a bit too fast for my liking. And that's slowed down, and let's take the volume out of that because it's a bit too loud. That does look pretty good, nice and short. And what we're going to do now is actually duplicate this clip. So we're going to press Control or Command C, and then Control or Command V. And then just drag that on top, and you've just created a duplicate layer. Now press V to disable the bottom layer, and now we are ready to start replacing the sky. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our effects panel, and we're going to go to the keying uh, folder right here. And we're just going to drag the keyer and drag it onto this clip. And as you can see, this is pretty much going to do its thing. What we're going to do is we're going to press sample color. I'm going to get a bit of that, a bit of this, a bit of that. Bop, boop, bop. Now, very important. You guys actually take some of the strength out of the letterbox, uh, out of it. As you can see, that looks pretty good already. As you can see, we've got, we've got some spill up the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to do spill suppression. And we're just going to adjust some of this stuff just to make it look a bit better. As you can see, this is kind of already looking a bit better. If we drag that down, you can see a bit of that white is actually already going away, which is great. So we're going to actually drag the spill level down to, and we're going to put it up to max just so we don't lose any color when we do that. So now we're just going to work at this and just make sure it all looks good. And as you can see, we've actually brought back a bit of the landscape there because some of it actually was keyed out. And now we can zoom in. And as you can see, sometimes there's like a little like white line. As you can see, I'm quite lucky I don't actually have one like that. But what you do is you just play around with these settings and see what works for your clip. Now, next step is pretty simple. Just drag this underneath like that. And as you can see, we've already got a great product. Now, I would probably adjust this seeing as most of the clouds here are seeming to be down the bottom footage. And as you can see, that's already starting to look really, really good. Now, obviously, we can make this look even better. By A, we can actually just add a lot on top of that, and that will pretty much just composite both of those shots just to make sure that they're both the colors on both of the clips actually match. So what we're going to do is like this, and we're going to make a compound clip out of it, and that will pretty much just allow us to just chuck a lot on it. I will just quickly find a lot and put this one on top. And as you can see, that already looks great. Now I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to quickly adjust the colors because I think it's way too saturated. Obviously, this is all personal preference of what you guys do with your clips. Um, this is just what I like to do. And then we can also just finish it off by chucking a letterbox on top. And as you can see, our sky replacement is complete. And that looks pretty cool, I reckon. Obviously, you can play around with the colors a bit more just to see what you guys like. And it is, yeah, as I said, it's very important that you guys film your clips where the sky is blown out, otherwise you'll have a lot of issues trying to key out the actual sky. But yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. And once we're done, we can always just export it. And yeah, so here we go. Just gonna, gonna, let's watch it one more time. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So yeah, that, that's just one form of sky replacements. You can do this with all other sorts of stuff. Like, just find what works for you. And yeah, cool. 
I'll go back to you, Lucas. Thank you guys so much for watching that tutorial. If you did enjoy, smash that like button and subscribe for more weekly content. I will see you guys next week. See ya.